Minnesota OSHA is investigating after a worker was killed in the lumber yard at the Golden Valley Menards. 19 year old James Stanback was operating a forklift when a pallet of lumber fell, pinning him underneath. Jennifer Mayerly spent some time with his family today as they grieve the loss of a young man they say had so much promise. He was the most kind hearted young man that you would ever meet. Mastea Sandback talks about her younger brother James. In disbelief, he's really gone. I can't believe I'm talking about him in past tense. And what happened at Menard was a tragedy. We're told James had been on the job for under two months at the Golden Valley location. It's a lot of questions. It's a lot of questions. Their questions revolve around the forklift he was operating and what kind of training he had. What is clear is the type of young man James was. He put pride in everything he did and failing was not one thing he was going to do. Whatever he put his mind to, he was going to make it happen. They lost a brother and their dad in 2016. Still, James graduated from Patrick Henry High School in North Minneapolis and he stepped up as the man of the house. So that's what you know he chose to do, to help support my mom, to establish good credit so that he can be in a position to eventually buy my mom a house. That was his goal in life, go to college and take care of my mom and my little brother. And Mistea says she wants to make sure people know what her brother stood for. James was a hard worker, compassionate young man, who only wanted better for his family. He never, he wouldn't hurt a fly on the wall. I just want him to have respect and I want y'all to know who he is. Jennifer Merrily, WCCO 4 News. Minnesota OSHA says it will inspect Menard's work areas for safety or health hazards and try to determine what caused or may have contributed to the accident. It will also review if existing OSHA standards were violated. The family set up a GoFundMe to help with funeral expenses. You can find that information at WCCO.com.